Hi everyone and welcome to Southern Motors, Michigan's leading muscle and classic car dealer since 1978. Remember you can always go online and check out our updated inventory at southernmotors.com. Today guys are going to take a look at a gorgeous 1962 Ford Ranchero without a doubt the coolest Ranchero and nicest Ranchero I've ever owned. Just an awesome car guys. This past weekend I was down in Tennessee. This car drove by me, was not for sale. Uh, Jay and I tracked this guy down, um, ended up uh, begging and pleading with him, ended up buying the car. Gorgeous car, man. It's a complete custom built pro touring car. I guess a pro shop out in California built the car. Um, it's, and when I say custom, it's all custom, guys. It's got a complete uh, Scott's custom chassis underneath the car. Uh, they've set the motor back six eight inches. They've notched the inside so that I'm six two and I can fit in this car easily. Uh, it's got Willwood four wheel disc brakes. Again, complete custom sub subframe with uh, power rack and pinion, adjustable coilovers, and tubular upper and lower control arms. Um, it's got a XXR uh, chrome wheels on it. Uh, the 12 inch wides in the rear just an awesome car it's got 900 i think we we uh, we, we put a few miles on it i think it's got uh, just over uh, 950 miles on the car since it was built again gorgeous car super cool you want to talk about an attention getter um front grill's original uh, a lot of the other you, see, so you can kind of that's one the one thing on the car you can kind of nitpick uh the rest of the stuff they sent out and had redone uh, you can see the new bumpers but as I want to say is, if you want to talk about an attention getter, I mean, we drove this car down there everywhere we went. I mean, people stop and talk to you. I mean, this this car just drives people crazy. It's so cool. It's so different, which is what I absolutely love about the car. Um, it, it nobody else has got one of these. I can guarantee you that, brother. It, it, this is not something that's going to be easy for somebody else to find. I love the color combination. It's a PPG Wimbledon white. Uh, which is an original Ford white, and then it's got all custom red leather interior, which I just think is beautifully done. Uh, you can see they sent out all this, and they had that all, all the the trim and everything redone. Glass is nice. Uh, this is super cool. The the way they've done this bed, it's actually got again complete custom chassis, guys. It's got twin 10 gallon fuel tanks in it, like saddlebags around the. Um, uh, the chassis here and then these you can pull this all up and that uh, comes up in uh, for your fuel tanks you can't see the fuel tanks from below the car they're all encased like you say just a just a super cool car guys And just you know, sorry, man. I'm getting I'm getting sidetracked here, out of my normal pattern of stuff here. Got people flying around us here. I always like the tail lights on these cars. The early Fords, I think, have the coolest tail lights. Again, you can see this rear bumper's new. About the only piece they didn't replace is that front grill, which in my sorry, it's just a little dust, guys. Probably uh, probably pretty hard to get. I would get imagine. Look how straight the thing is down the side, just laser straight, original California body. This car was originally built, I guess, in a speed shop in California. Uh, Bridgestone rubber all the way around it. Again, love those 12 inch wide uh, wheels on this car. It's got all three inch X pipes, uh, dual exhaust. It's got uh, stainless uh, tailpipes. Sorry, I'm losing my voice if you can't tell. Yeah, I love this car, man. It is a real attention getter. This thing is a real conversation piece. Make you run over out here today shooting a video. Four wheel disc brakes, slotted and drilled rotors. Those are XXR platinum wheels. This car sits good, rides good. Super cool car. Big block, 460 under the hood. Didn't even tell you that. See the way they've set that motor back? Again, it's got the custom panel they built for the front. Um, 
It's got a Holly dual feed four barrel on it, aluminum intake, ceramic headers. You can see all the March. Uh, it's got the March serpentine pulley and uh, bracket system in it. Uh, aftermarket vintage AC. Uh, if I can kind of see down here. It's got a powder coated Scott's front chassis in it, tubular upper and lower control arms, power rack and pinion steering, adjustable coilovers. It's got a custom built C4 slash C6 trans. I, I know it's hard to explain, but you used to. C, I'm sorry, C4 slash 200 custom built trans in it with a 2400 stall. Because uh, it's got a 411 Detroit locker in the rear. But I'm telling you, you drive this car, it just rolls along, man. You don't, you don't have to worry about it. You can get on the expressway and drive this thing. Uh, custom aluminum radiator. It's got dual electric fans. Again, um, uh, four-wheel disc brakes, power rack and pinion steering, and air. Air does work. Again, all the door handles are new. Looks like the door rubbers are all new. Here's your door tag. Custom uh, door pads. I love the interior on this car. Oh, that's right. It's got a uh, JJ, JJ, so much on this car, JJ's got to remind me stuff. It's got a tilt telescopic uh, column in it. Of course, the billet steering wheel. Let me show you these seats too, which are pretty cool. They've not, so it's got all custom leather bucket seats in it, right? They've uh, notched, you can see them in there. So again, I'm 6'2", 235 pounds, man, I can fit in this thing easy. And then it's got an adjustable seat. You pull this lever and the seat will lean forward for a guy who's smaller, so that he's closer to the wheel. Beautifully done. All, uh, it's all, um, uh, auto meter sport comp gauge cluster 955 now on the odometer AM FM radio it's got a low car shifter in it with that custom console on it nice leather and it's got like a silver insert again uh, three inch all custom exhaust X pipe uh, nine inch Ford uh, it's um, uh, 411 Detroit locker rear end they've kind of um, right on line the bed so that you kind of can stick stuff in there. It is usable if you want to throw your uh, lawn chairs or something in it going to the to the car show. And this does work. Just very cool, man. Yeah, this guy. We, we, were, we were sitting on the golf cart at the show, man. This guy come rolling in. We chased him down. You can see how nice that thing is underneath. And like you say, he really didn't have it there to sell. He, uh... Yeah, Jay said he had a piece of property. Yeah, he had an opportunity to buy a piece of property. So sometimes uh, in the right place at the right time is what happened. Yeah, you know, all this, how they've done all that, man. Just super cool. It's all carpeted in the back. They just did a great job. I don't know if I showed you guys the headline. A little light in there works.
traffic's moving. I didn't know if you're gonna be able to go that way. Tack works. Car drives out good too, guys. Again, we had it in traffic on an 80 degree day. Had zero problems. Um, there's some lights down here, switches down here. Your dome light when your doors are shut. Your dome light when the door is shut. That's for your left and right tank, and then your fuel pump and your wipers, and then your lights are over there. Okay. Jay's showing your tilt telescopic. <laughs> Just an awesome car, man. It's kind of, it's kind of, I mean, it's, it, it, it's a work of art. It really is. I mean, somebody spent a ton of money building this car. And it runs. No doubt about it, this car gets with the program. Radio, but no. No station? No. I'm gonna have Steve take a look at it. I'm not big on radios, but I do have a radio guy can come have a take a look at. We know the blower motor works. It's definitely got power. Oh, maybe it's the antenna. track of our inventory guys you can do that at southernmotors.com another great way to keep in touch with us is through our facebook page or as always pick up the phone give my guys a call 248-620-3355 have a great day guys